I want to share a story with you. Sophia, one of our viewers, tell us how 70 people in her village have come to Christ through Network 7. That's our channel. She says, I've been a believer for 17 years. I have good news. 70 people in our village have given their hearts to Jesus Christ through Network 7. All of us are being fed by your channel every day. When we take a taxi, we hear people talk about being tired of the false religion of Islam. They say, we are tired of grieving, mourning, and weeping, and we don't have joy at all. We are looking to hear new things to break free from this confusion. We tell them that Christ is the only way to break free from bondage. If they want real joy, they need to receive salvation. This is all happening in taxis. We tell people that if you want godly and good life, and if you want freedom and healing in your life, you need to give your heart to the living Jesus Christ. We introduce the programs of, of Network 7 to them. We direct them to social media account of Church 7 so they can hear God's word every day and download the Bible. We even tell them that Church 7 will help them find their purpose in life. I must tell you that people in Iran are ready to hear about Christ. They don't argue with us. When we speak about the love of Christ, they listen eagerly and receive salvation. Then she says, I'm a member of Church 7. That's our global media church. And I am an evangelist. As you hear this testimony, there's several points about it. One is that the rejection of Islam. See, in the public places, in the taxis, they are not afraid to talk about the Jesus, that Islam is a false religion and Jesus is the way. That's how deep the rejection is, that people, even in public places, have rejected Islam and they're open to the gospel. They're not afraid, even though their lives may be in danger, maybe the government will arrest them, but they're not afraid of anymore. When they came out, the first their complaint was, was about politics, about the government, about the finances, but not anymore. They have passed that. The complaint of the people of Iran is the religion. They know the root of their problem is the religion of Islam. And not I, they say Islam. These are Muslim word, Muslims who say Islam is the false religion. And that's why they're open. When we uh, think about Iran, you may think, oh, they're an Islamic country. They're not. Millions have rejected Islam. And it's our job to share the gospel with them. One thing, one special thing about Iran, about the persecution. You know, in other Islamic countries, when somebody comes to Christ, it's usually the village that turns against them, sometimes kills them, or they have to flee for their lives in these villages. Not in Iran. In Iran, when somebody comes to Christ, usually... The whole family, and even here, the whole village comes to Christ. Iran is ready for Jesus Christ. And another thing, did you notice that Sophia is evangelizing? But we are also helping, him to, helping her to evangelize. So that's the role of our ministry, not just to share the gospel. Many are coming to Christ because we are sharing the gospel. But we are helping the Christians in Iran to witness. Did you notice she goes just to in taxis and just says, you know, I, Jesus has changed my life. And if you want to know about him, just watch this channel. This is how Christians are witnessing. And we are helping Christians to witness. And those people who are interested to our channel, they hear the gospel and they come to Christ later. That's why so many, so many Iranians are coming to Christ. This is historical time. This is the time for us to move and change a nation. And through Iran, we can change the whole Middle East. I want to thank you. I want to thank all of you who are supporting or standing with us to make history. We have no other financial resources except you. And I'm so thankful for your faithful support. I want to invite the rest of you. If you want to change history, if you want to see your investment making a everlasting change in the whole region, would you consider supporting us, joining us? I really appreciate each one of you. And another favor, 
would you share this story with others? Not many people know Iran is not an Islamic country. The government is, but not people. Many people don't know what's happening in that region, special Iran. And would you share this with other people? The easiest way is to ask them, would you text the word Iran, I-R-A-N, to a number, 74784. That's the easiest way for them to connect to us. When they do that, we send them links of testimonies and information. That's easy. Just tell them, text Iran to 74784. I appreciate you. I ask you to join us, and I'm sure you will. God bless you.